Penobscot Historical Society maintains four buildings and is a treasure trove of stories, information, and artifacts from days gone by. I gave them four stars, and here's some reasons why. The first is the buildings themselves. All of them are filled with history and stories. Touring the place, you can just imagine what life was like back then. The hardships, the challenges, the joys, the peacefulness of a simple little world. The general store was the first thing that caught my attention and got me digging into PHS. I thought it was a real store, just never open or recently closed. Some stores in Maine still look like this. Of course, the internet revealed it was part of the historical society. What I liked about most on the inside was the old post office, the tools, the checkerboard by the pot belly stove. In the barn and shed is a bunch of equipment, tools, buggies, an old washing machine which I remember having growing up at our camp where we had no power, and something called a bean thrasher, which was made out of wood at a hand cranked and separated the beans from everything else. cellar of the farmhouse it was basically a museum of items that didn't really fit in the other buildings. Um, books, um, flags, military stuff, clothes, etc. Um, just generally a lot of interesting items. The schoolhouse ended up being my favorite building on the tour. It was a one room filled with desks of all different kinds of eras. It was pictures of presidents on the wall, a real chalkboard, an alphabet of cursive writing. One can almost see a class full of ghosts sitting at the desk, eager to learn and grow up. For my extended review, please click on the link below. And thanks for joining me into this glimpse into the past.